There's always something in the river on a September morning. And I look for it when I can. A magistrate learns to steal time. He's always on call and he needs some refuge like the river. Catching fish isn't the only point. Swift water is a flow of strength. It straightens things out. Puts life back into the mind. <laughs> If there's one guide who will find you, see it by the river. We should be down this way. Hi, Daddy. It's Jack. There he is. Holy cow, these are beauty. Hi, Ed. Hi. I know the mounted police always get their man, but I wish you fellows had limited to criminals. I needed these summonses signed so I can get them served before I go out in the boat. I know about these. They're okay. Sign the charges on them. What you got down in court this morning? Oh, a couple of drunks, a traffic case. Where are you going on the boat? Up to Hannah Bay Logging. They've been missing a lot of equipment up there. Well, thanks. So long. See you, Ed. Daddy. What do you got there? Some kind of worm or something. That's catastrophe before they get their cases. We've lived here by the river for 20 years now. That's time enough to get to know a community, which is an advantage to a magistrate. A man on trial has a right to be judged against a background not too remote from his own. The rural magistrate may be a businessman or a laborer, almost anyone in the community with a fair reputation for honesty and stability. A writer's time adapts more easily than most. But even he has to earn a living as well and somehow reconcile the two responsibilities. The area served by my court takes in 10,000 square miles of British Columbia. Much of it is islands and salt water where people live in little settlements and logging camps like Hannah Bay. job in a country area is a breach of faith. It denies a pioneer code not yet forgotten here. It's one like this. Here's the serial number, if they haven't already filed it off. Okay, thanks. Isn't that young Bill Saunders? Yeah, a good cat driver. A few years back, I knew everyone I met on the way to court. But we've grown suddenly from the simplicity of logging and fishing to the maturity of pulp mills and base metals. Monday morning may bring up a dozen cases instead of just two or three. Yet the machinery of the law must still be simple and unpretentious. Size does not affect rights grown out of 2,000 years of civilization. Magistrates' courts are the only courts with which the general run of the public likely to have any direct dealing. In Canada, they handle 98% of all criminal charges. Well, I'll take a note of it and ask the magistrate when he comes in. Oh, here he is now. Will you hold on a moment, please? Morning, Al. Morning, sir. That is the Indian agent on the phone. He wants to prosecute Teresa Thompson for trespassing on the reserve. She's an Indian. She was born there. She was, but she married off the reserve. Husband's dead. Well, she went back home to visit her mother. Will you take the complaint? No, certainly not. Thank you very much. A magistrate sits in executive restraint on police power. If the state believes it should affect the liberty of a citizen, must first justify itself to an unspecialized mind. 
this boat open in the name of the Queen. Well, Joe, back again. Joseph McPherson, charged it on Saturday. There are real criminals, of course. And occasionally, they show up in my court. But for the most part, crime is a sad little thing. And the people who come into court are hard up or lazy, worried or frightened, foolish or hasty, but almost never wicked. Guilty. Young Bill Saunders with that no good Kelly. That kid's headed for trouble again. You had him on probation a year ago. I thought he was doing all right now. What's the trouble? Bad company, too much money. Carter's a plane to come over from camp a couple of times a week. Paid a thousand dollars down on a car. Either his old man's giving it to him or he's getting it where he shouldn't. He's running a cab. That pays good money. Not enough for what he's doing. You know his old man. Be good if you could get him to straighten the kid up. We'll have the motor on there all week, Del. Okay, Kelly. Hey! I got a summons I'd like to settle out of court. Why? It's a Saturday morning. You won't be working, will you? I figured it was best that way. Kind of a stiff fine, 50 bucks. If you came down, you might have something to say for yourself. You have to send somebody down anyway. It isn't a civil case. Everybody says it's a lot easier if you don't go to court. Who's everybody? Oh, we was talking in the beer parlor. Why do you think I spend all my time coming down here? You ever hear about a man having his day in court? You know what that means? It means you're a free man. You've got a right to come down and stand up on your own two feet and speak for yourself. You come to court. hunting with Henry Saunders, dear. He's got a new dog. I'd like to see it work. Henry's good company. I like Henry. Oh, there's more to it than that. Well, we're kind of worried about Bill. Oh, Henry's the trouble there. He'd spend more time with the boy and less time making money. They'd both be better off. Doing, Henry? Bill, doing fine. Don't see him much except on weekends, and then he stays out pretty late. I spoil him, are you? New cars and all? I haven't bought him a new car. I'd like one myself. He paid a thousand bucks down on the car last week, cash. He's earning plenty. Look, he got into trouble once, but he straightened up. Okay, if you're satisfied. You want him in court again? He's 19 now. Not a juvenile any longer. He's working. Doing fine. Working hard. Mumbo. Sunday. That's his bunkhouse there. If he isn't there, Kelly's boat's been hanging around the bay. Saunders here? I haven't seen him since he came out from the woods. Okay, thanks. We'll have a look around the bay for that boat.
Daddy, here's the police. Well, I got you that piece of watch. All right, dear. Mary, would you like some more time? We've got that logging stuff. Bill Saunders is getting it to them. We picked up Kelly's boat at Stewart Island. All the exhibits are over there, and they're pretty heavy. If you don't mind, we'd like to hold court over there. There's some other cases. Going down to watch court? This is close enough for me. Last time court was here, I was the prisoner standing down there before the magistrate, and it took a powerful lot of talking to get off. Well, you made it, didn't you? Oh, I made it all right. I guess you're trying young Bill Saunders now. Bill Saunders' father is a prominent man in the community. As his lawyer, I know him well, and so do you, your worship. When I tell you he's a badly shaken man, conscious now that he has not been the father that he should have been to this boy, I know you'll believe me. Consider the effect that a jail sentence will have on this boy's whole future. I submit, therefore, that you must place him on probation. I'm deeply conscious of the points you've raised, Mr. Counselor. Corporal, I shall need a full pre-sentence report from the probation officer on this boy. Saunders, I'm going to remind you, eight days for sentence. Bail will be $5,000. In one short day, Your Worship. I imagine Mr. Saunders will accept full responsibility for his appearance. Better break for lunch now, Corporal. Very good, sir. Get the forms for Saunders ready, and I'll sign them. Right. I'll hear the case against Kelly at 1 o'clock. You think they'll let you off, Bill? Sure. What do you expect? My old man's a big shot. The magistrate's a friend of his. I'll get probation. I had it before, and there's nothing to it. <laughs> and what those probation officers don't find out would fill a book. Sure. Most out-of-court work grows from family relationships. It's unofficial work, but it's probably the most valuable work a magistrate does. And I hurt her. Bad. I knew I shouldn't have done it. And I was sorry right afterwards. Now she won't even speak to me. Maybe I should leave. She'd be better off without me anyway. She'll tell you all about it. She's on her way over here now with the cops. You got children, haven't you, Jason? Three. Well, I'll see what I can do with her. A broken home does not necessarily produce criminals, but nearly all criminals within my experience have come from broken homes or inadequate homes. Hello, Henry. About Bill, let me have the boy. I'll spend all my time with him. My business can run itself. We'll take a trip to Europe, maybe. He's a good kid at heart. He just didn't think straight, that's all. You know what jails do to young fellows. You can't do that to him. My problem now, Henry. I just have to solve it as best I can. It's a temptation to wish for par to move in and anticipate family trouble, and I'm glad we do not have it. The state did not invent the family for its convenience. Families and family men invented states. to lay a complaint against Jason. He was here, and he's really upset about what he did. Sure you want to charge him? You got the kids to think about. Can't you straighten it up some way? I've taken all I'm going to. I want Jason put in jail and teach him a lesson. Well, let's sign this hearing. Now, you'll be down there Saturday morning, if that's the way you want it. Yeah, okay. Bill Saunders, stand up.
Well, Bill, I tried hard to convince myself that she could be released on probation again. It simply isn't possible. The probation report alone shows that. You've had more advantages than most young fellows. They haven't been enough to satisfy you. What you need is some sharp jolt to straighten you up. I'm satisfied the only thing to do it is a jail sentence. I therefore sentence you to six months in prison. That's all. I want to see you later, Henry. There's a big chance for both of you in this. I'll stop by tonight. Order. I declare this court closed. God save the Queen. This case comes up Saturday, doesn't it, Jason? Yeah. Could you withdraw your case against Jake? Well, it's getting a little bit late now. Suppose you both come up to my house about 2 o'clock this afternoon. I'll go and sit with them. Thank you. You know, being a magistrate's tough work. A country magistrate deals with real people and real issues between them. He can do something to help the ordinary man struggle with the complexities of law and something to put humanity into the robot nature of the state. In doing so, he is forced to test and retest his own integrity, constantly learning how frail a creature he is, constantly seeking the perfect balance between protection of innocence and punishment of guilt. Thank you.